It's uh, June 21st, 2011, summer solstice, the longest day of the year. And here we are on top of uh, Mulholland in California. And the sun is going down right it's now. It's going down right now. And I've been feeling loopy all day, and a lot of people on Facebook have been Thank sort you, of son. checking in on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's kind of a loopy energy. Well, it's deep cleaning time. Uh, anything that has been getting in our way has has to go. Yeah. And I've been experiencing such deep, painful places, and and that's such to throw one for a loop because it's like you know, hey, I've done this work, I've known this place. Why am I here again? No. Yeah. And uh, here I am again, and really having to, oh, really f just kind of fight back with my demons that are coming in. You know, they want to they wanna win. <laughs> the ego wants to freaking win, and it can't uh, win, it can't win. Would you say it's the last hurrah for the ego? It's the last hurrah for the, I like that. It's yeah. the last hurrah for the ego. Yeah. It is, and it's really fighting, and it's in... It's like, even in the ride up here, it's like, ah, oh, this energy, just like move, move. And it's like, we have to be the ones to move the energy. You know, that's our job. That's what we're, that's what we came here to do now, to change the way that we look at the world, to change our perceptions of ourself, of ourselves, to connect with that love, the deepest love there is, and quit playing these games with ourselves and hurting ourselves and sabotaging ourselves. And I think this is what that's all about. I think we still have a lot of movement to go here. We're, we're, we're partway through the journey, but hang in there because we came here for this moment and we can do it. Do you believe we can do it? I believe we can do it. Uh, but at times I'm just totally uh, flummoxed by what's going on. I guess what I'm seeing in a lot of sites is there's some sort of a cosmic DNA upgrade that a lot of people are saying about. Right, right. Some people are saying, but this is the last solstice before uh, the whole 2012 era. This, uh, ah. you know, we will be in the actual 2012, 2012. cycle right, right, when the right. next solstice comes. So are you hanging in? Uh, how are you feeling with everything that's coming up for you? This is uncomfortable? Um, well, I, you, as you know, I'm, I'm living in a situation right now where I'm looking for a new place uh, you know I you know I've been doing so much of this work that I have you know well there's changes there's so a lot of changes. changing and I'm I'm not alone in that regard a lot of the light workers are going through the same kind of economic uh, craziness that's even more exacerbated than the economy it's deep know? it's deep it's, uh, it's like a whole fundamental reshifting of, yeah, yeah, yeah. of the economy and well, I haven't really got my head around it yet well, I, I mean, you know me. I, I, I believe it's happening from within here. So, economy is shamanomy. You know, <laughs> what's going on inside of you? Yes. What is that belief in, in yourself? What's going on inside of me? What's the belief about me inside myself? What's going on inside you? What are you believing about yourself? What, what I mean, I know that when I am in ego, I'm in misery. Oh, I, I am. am in that, complete that's a, that's misery. That's a very good point because I am in a lot of ego right now. Uh, I got angry with my brother the other day because I didn't think he sounded respectful enough ah, you know respect, I mean, respect and uh respect is of course all ego stuff yeah so a lot of ego stuff and i i uh, and i've done training on how to keep that ego quiet but it seems to really want to assert itself right now in a big way it really does I, i'm not ignoring you i'm watching the sun go down the hill so i'm not trying to be aloof uh, <laughs> yeah yeah the uh the ego place and it's wanting to take over and it's wanting to tell its stories about you know how stories. this is and yeah. how what it means yeah. and usually it's it's um really it's not it's never happy it's well, never happy. Was, Do you notice uh, that? The at, ego's never really the, happy where it's at. At the peak of my, my former real estate career, I was worth millions of dollars. And now I'm like struggling. And that's the old story. Just to make rent. And, uh, but like you said to me today, you're not doing real estate anymore. And you haven't we, in how long? I haven't been doing real estate for five years. Five years. And yeah. when you were doing it, were you doing it big time five years ago? Oh, absolutely. I was. One of so it's only been five years. Yeah. Well, that's. Yeah. I mean, I understand that. Yeah. But it's like it's. I think that's pretty much a great place now to let it go and change the story. Well, and I've had offers to you know go back in and, and, and do that again, but I. That's not what I want to be doing. I want to be out here in Los Angeles and and really doing films that uplift 
Yeah, yeah. That's what I want to be But, doing. you know, I'm talking about the inner work that, yeah, oh, this is great, we got a motorcycle coming well, in. Well, they were just came oh, for the sunset. Bye. They missed it, though. Um, well, we're still watching the sunset. We're still watching it. But, you know, it's that, it's that nitty-gritty work that, you know, we don't want to talk about. We don't want to talk about the things that are, sh we, that are shameful. I know for myself, when I get into places that are small, I don't want to talk about those places. But, you know what? More and more, I realize we all have them, and we're all okay. up against them right now. Well, you've taught me we're big and small at the same time. We're all big and small and, at the same uh, time. That really is a handy one. So, <laughs> you know, and, and the truth is that we're all doing this at the same time. We're all going through these these challenges and struggle, and sometimes it's, it really stinks. I'll say, I'll say that word. Uh, but you know what? We're doing it with each other. Hang in there. Hang in there, everybody. We're gonna get. We're getting through this ship. We gonna, are getting through the ship. We're gonna turn the camera and let you guys watch the sunset oh, yes. with us. We'll, we'll, we'll keep talking okay. as the camera goes here. Yeah, hang with it. Hang with us, and uh, we'll hang with you. And yeah, yeah let's, let's watch, watch the sunset. sunset. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, look at that. We'll hang with each other. Woo yeah. yeah, look at that. Oh, that's that's gorgeous. Woo. Fantastic. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and if I can pan a little bit here too, you're looking at this is the whole Hollywood San Fernando Valley here, and there goes the sun. There goes the there solstice. There goes the sun. Do, 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 do. Oh. There goes the sun. Oh my God, that's like that looks like I a say, like a postcard. It's Beautiful. All right. do, 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 do. Wow. That I'm gonna shut up and just let you sing. Go ahead. <laughs> Little darling, it's been a long, long, long cold. Long. Lonely winter, little darling. Da 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 da. There goes the sun. There goes the sun, and I say it's all right. Wow, Celsius. Did you see that uh, video I found about? A thousand people doing yoga in Times Square today? No! It was awesome! They did a oh. solstice yoga meditation. They closed down Times Square. Woohoo! There were a thousand people Yay. doing yoga in Times Square. <laughs> I just thought that was freaking awesome. That's, that is really cool. <laughs> yeah. That's really cool to bring that energy there, right? They wanted to balance out the energy of Times yes. Square being used yes. for like New Year's yes. drunkenness. And we wanted to talk about that, about balancing the feminine and the masculine energy. Let's talk about it as the sun goes down. Yeah, yeah on this solstice, we had a Father's Day solstice celebration, which many of you came to, and um, it was really, really special. And it talks about, we talk about balancing, the summer solstice is about balancing the masculine and the feminine energies. The sun is the masculine and the earth is the feminine. And the sun brings that warmth and sunshine so we can live and so we can grow plants and we could have uh, life and, and sustain life on this planet. So it's the melding of the feminine and the masculine. Mm -hmm. That's why Ken and I decided to do this uh, special dream shield summer solstice uh, share together <laughs> yeah you're watching the sun go down in the last part of America here as it goes down over the Pacific Ocean Ooh. pretty cool huh? it's really beautiful out here it's yeah. a really good idea I've been like feeling so stuck in my energy it's like I don't want to go and do the summer solstice thing no. <laughs> but I really right. really wanted I to do the, the summer solstice thing I made the camera bounce there with my laughing <laughs> so here we are we say we're connected to light we're all oneness we're not these bodies but these bodies are sacred but we're this energy that's magnificent and can do anything and just be in light and be in peace and be in love so let's do that yeah. I say let's do that talking about the light um, and I, you do this beautiful golden light meditation would you would you walk us through one a little bit here it's a solstice golden oh, light it's really really simple beautiful it's just the breathing as you're breathing it's look beautiful. at that golden light there yeah and see that above your head and, and you're inhaling through your moon center the crown of your head all that beautiful golden light right into your heart so there's an inhale golden light right into the crown chakra and exhale right into your heart so that's inhaling Easily relaxing that beautiful golden light in through the top of your head, the crown of your head, inhaling into the heart, exhaling that golden into every cell of your heart, 
every cell of your being as you inhale the golden light. Exhale, it comes into the crown chakra, down into the heart, and all through your body. You're feeling that healing golden light from this beautiful solstice sun energy, breathing it into your, your body, your cells now, exhaling it into your aura, your energy surrounding you. expand with every inhale and exhale until really your home, your town, your city, your country, and this entire earth is bathed in that golden solstice summer light. see each being around us and all life as being part of that source, that light, that life. And we are pulsating with energy and health and abundance and wisdom, wisdom in our minds, in our hearts, in our very being. And as we breathe, it's easy to breathe in that golden light as we exhale. Exhaling that golden light, continuing to do that. It feels so beautiful. Very pure. <laughs> well, I think we should walk off together into the sunset. We can do that and just keep breathing. And as you're breathing, just keep. Coming back with that energy now, back closer and closer to you in every breath, leaving that golden light all out there, but coming back to yourself with every inhale and exhale. You're safe, you're sound, you're at peace, and you know that the rest of this year is incredible and just getting more and more incredible. Let's take a walk. Wow! Mm -hmm. You're still enjoying it, yeah. We have to put some music in this one. Oh, this yeah. is gorgeous. This is crazy gorgeous. I'd like to say a little shout out here to Filippo Francini, who's been yeah. giving us so much beautiful meditation music. To Thank work you, with. Filippo Francini. Filippo Francini. You can find him at FilippoMusic.com. FilippoMusic.com. Filippo Francini. We love you. I hope that was good. It's a good Italian accent. Well, you do the best. You kidding me? <laughs> Look at that. That looks great. Amazing. There you go. Yeah. This could go on for hours. Since I can remember, I always I would look up at the sky. If I was really looking for any length of time, I'd feel like I was inside of a globe. And I was I could swear that I was inside of a globe. That it was round and I was in a, in a globe. And I was like I, I felt that this wasn't the real world. We were living in this fake globe, and there were beings looking looking at us. <laughs> I think there's a lot of truth to that. They say there's a one in five thousand chance this is all actually a computer simulation. It's a pretty high percentage, isn't it? It would piss me off if it was. <laughs> it's also kind of fancy. Excuse me, I get, you got to weed that out, don't you? <laughs> no, I think, I think that's permissible. As long as we stay away from the F word, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> we did that fantastic uh, video today that was inspired by your butterfly meditation. Two big wings out there. 
Well, I'm definitely seeing like interesting hieroglyphics taking shape. Yeah. For as far as I can see, it's. Uh, and we're getting them on camera. And here I don't too. really believe in that kind of stuff in the hieroglyphics of this and that. But sometimes I do. You know? Yeah, I, I know. And but um, they actually um, sometimes actually happen, so you have no choice to believe. But to believe it, so. Sometimes they get embedded <laughs> on the back of your head. <laughs> well, I say I don't believe it until I see it, and then I do believe it. So I guess I do believe it. You're talking to the guy with an eagle embedded on the back Ke- of his head. Ten sheets has an ego. Eagle has an ego. He has an ego. Oh, that's interesting. Isn't it? Ego, ego. <laughs> well, we were talking about ego earlier. I like that. So Ken Sheets has an ego. Uh, he has wonderful gray hair, except for in the back of his head where it's black, but the black is in the shape of an eagle. <laughs> and I swear it is. I think you'd be able to pick it up. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's I just see. have to stand over here. Yeah, the light's going to hit you there. Let's see. Do we have a. Uh, think I'm kidding? Ha! <laughs> I ain't not getting send. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, so when I look at clouds like this. I'm looking at clouds from both This on my sides. head, I'm like always looking for signs. You see an amazing uh, thing show up like hearts and coffee cups. And you had an angel show up in a coffee cup. Oh my gosh. Lots of angels. That, was, yeah. that angel, yeah, that was an Claire's angel. Clear as a bell. Yeah, I mean, and, and Bob was the one who found it. And Bob is not one for that kind of, you know, Jesus in the toast sort of situations. And he's the one. He took my coffee cup when he was leaving the room, and he came back, and he was like, look at this. Jesus in the toast. He was like, look at this, look at this. There's an angel in the coffee cup. Yeah. Oh, this is amazingly still beautiful light. Let me get a shot here. Here's Laura overlooking... Uh, the vista. The vista. Wow. Have you had angels in your coffee cup? Angels in my coffee. They're about to lose battery power. I think I'd have time to even go run and get a fresh battery and keep filming. Well, if we don't do that, we let's say thanks for joining us today. Yeah. I... During this beautiful, incredible day that's still going on, the longest day. Of the year. Just look at that. Down 2011, there. June 21st, summer solstice, the longest day of this year. I'll tell you, Lord of the Rings has got nothing on this. Lord yeah, well, this is why we live in California. This is why we live in LA. No matter what people say about it, there's a lot of goodness in the city of angels. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> Very long sunsets. Oh, this is a magnificent. This, I feel like, is one of these those These clouds things. are getting closer. Yeah, All these really are, interesting, energetic clouds. You know what they kind of look like now? Uh, uh, what do you call those Why don't you hold things? on? I'm going to bat- I'm gonna get some batteries. From where? In the car. Oh. Oh, in the car, of course. They look like, uh, what do they call those things? The totems? Tiki's. Tiki totems. They look like tiki's. Don't they look like tiki? Like right this moment, it's one of those times that you go to do something and you don't know how sacred it's going to turn out to be, and how lucky you're going to feel that you were, you were you actually did it, and, and you're here and you're experiencing this, <laughs> and you made a really good decision to just come up the hill with with your friend when he says let's go up the hill. What happened? Right now? Yep. <laughs> so this will be the end. Thanks to the park. Park ranger says the park is closing and we have to uh, skedaddle. Everybody out of the pool. Everybody uh-huh. out of the sunset. Where is he? He's right over there. He's going to give us a ticket if we don't oh, get going. Sorry, guys. 